Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today I'm going to do the human, the global human capital report 2018 released by WEF World Economic Forum. So let's start with what is the definition of human capital according to this report. So the definition is how nations develop their human capital can be more important determinant of their long term success. For the long term success, how much money or how much money or how much resources a nation is deploying towards the human capital into their education and their know how and how that education is used. So by the human capital, we mean the knowledge and the skills people possesses that enables them to create the value in the global economic system. So the human capital means knowledge and the skills, not only knowledge, not only the literacy, the skills that people possesses that enables them to create the value in the global economic system and the human capital not def defined solely through the formal education. It is not just formal education and skilling. It can be enhanced over time growing through use of use and depreciating through the lack of use. So all in all, According to the WF, according to this report, according to the global human capital report, what is human capital? Human capital we means the knowledge and the skills of the people uh, of that uh, people living in a country of the citizen of a country. It is not just the formal education and the skills. In the long term, it is. Uh, it can be affected the human capital can be affected with experience and time over the time with if the human capital is put to use it can improve right it can grow but if it is not using then it will depreciate over that period of time so that is what the fund of human capital according to global human capital report so the global human capital first of all it is released by wf and the motto of WF is committed to improving the state of the world. This is the motto of WF and this human capital index. So this is the important point. The first important question number one you can say. So who release uh, the global human capital index that is WF World Economic Forum. Then this is also important question. How many country countries are there in the global human capital index 2017 there are 130 countries that is also important and that is our question number two 130 countries are there in the global human capital index and they are ranked according to how well they are developing their human capital they are ranked according to how well they are developing their human capital and the scale is from zero to 100. And there are four themes or you can say four indicators. The first one is capacity, the development. I will explain how each of about each of these dimensions or uh, each of these dimension in the upcoming nine next slides, development and the know-how. For the five distinct age groups, 0 to 14, 15 to 24, 25 to 54, 55 to 64 and 65 plus. So, this one is also very important. The first one and the important point who releases it, right? WF release the global human capital index, then 130 countries are there, then four themes capacity, deployment, development, and know how. Then there are five distinct age groups 0 to 14, 15 to 24, 25 to 54, 55 to 64, 65 plus. So the, uh, in this slide there are two important questions this one and this one and then next slide the wf this is also important so these are the four uh, this is in depth but these are the four dimensions so the four four dimension the first one the level of formal education of younger and the older generation First of all, the level of formal education, see, see this one. The first one capacity, 25% of the total index. 
So weightage is given 25%, 25%, the 25% weightage is given to capacity, deployment, development and the know-how. In the capacity, the indicators are literacy, the primary education, secondary education, attainment rate, the tertiary education, retainment rate. I See, the in, if you have seen the HDI report or the ease of doing business report, even the global uh, gender gap, the uh, gender gap index report that I have done, these indicators are somehow similar right so i have already explained about these indicators in my previous videos please watch the previous lectures so literacy and numeracy it, the portion in gray so literacy and numeracy primary education attainment secondary education attainment the tertiary education attainment it is calculated for the gray portion right for 0 to 14 the attainment rate is actually not counted okay Deployment, the labor force participation rate, how many people, how many, uh, what is the portion of population that is taking part in the labor and then the employment gender gap. I have done an in-depth lecture about the gender gap, then the unemployment and the underemployment rate. So that's what deployment is, then the development. So primary education enrollment rate, the quality of primary schools. The secondary education enrollment rate, the secondary enrollment gender gap, very important. The vocational educational enrollment rate, the tertiary educational enrollment rate, the skill diversity of the graduates, the quality of the education system, the extent of staff training. See, in India is actually, India performed really bad in this index because see, first of all, there is no skill diversity. Uh, although the gender gap is not that wider in case of education uh, but in case of in employment the gender gap is really wide I have already explained about that in my previous lecture the gender gap is really wide in case of compensation the women's are not given the higher level positions and they are not paid equally that is a problem in India and then the extent of staff training so that's what the indicators of development and then the know-how the high skilled employment share medium skilled employment share how many people are the part of high skilled employment uh, are doing the high level jobs and the medium skilled jobs high skilled jobs the economic complexity availability of the skilled employees so these are the part of know-how dimension so these are the four dimensions the know-how is calculated only for 25 to 64 age group while the development C from 20, uh, the 15 to 24 so please give it a close look so the India is actually performing really bad the score is just 55.29 and India's rank is 103 so this is also important in the previous lectures indicators I don't think you will uh, you'll see this indicators are only important uh, points here are first of all uh, 130 countries are there and uh, this is not important 130 countries are there then you need to understand the four dimensions please remember this one the capacity development the know-how the deployment these four dimensions very important so what are the four dimensions of global capital index very important point point number one and then who releases it and then how many countries are there and five distinct age groups it is calculated for uh, there are five distinct age groups are there so you need to know about it then the rank of india is 103 and the score is just 55.29 so india is lagging behind in the know-how and also in the development so i got this data from the report itself the top 10 of this year's edition was the first one is norway then finland switzerland and fourth one is united states so this one is uh, very important who taught this uh, index it is norway so the important questions from this report is first I have already explained you uh, 130 countries four themes are there then five distinct age groups are there who releases it uh, WF release it and what is the motto of WF then there are four dimensions capacity development deployment know-how 
and then this part indicators are not that important but please read it and then india's rank is 103 this is important then who taught the index norway is at number one finland number two switzerland number three so please note down so that's all for today students i hope you are able to understand the important questions about this uh, report i have already explained there are five important questions from this report and i according to me you are going to find one or two questions from this report the, the question will be same which country topped that global uh, capital index human capital index the one question is according to me it can be which is the top country what is the rank of india who releases it uh, then what are the dimensions that's it that's it i don't think there are any more questions from this particular lecture so that's it student i hope you you are able to understand this lecture so thank you and have a very nice day bye